If you are anything like most YouTubers, there's one thing you probably do not have access to, space. Let's face it, you're most likely shooting your videos in a messy bedroom or best case scenario, in your living room. <laughs> and if you're like me, you probably need to do a little bit of tidying up before shooting, cause I am messy. I mean, there's clothes everywhere, gym socks, thinking up the video. But even when it's all nice and neat and you set up some lighting, it still looks, well, not that great. So, how do you fix it? How do you go from this to this? Easy. Using a honeycomb grid. You've probably noticed grids like this in many setups, and today you're gonna find out what exactly they do and how they can help you hide a background that is, well, not interesting. Here's how it works. You can see the light behind me, and as I rotate the grid, it disappears. It's being occluded. That's a simple way of explaining the principle. It's like the sides of the grid are like a channel, like a funnel. And the more angled the grid is, the less of the light you'll see. Let me explain it differently. Take this light, for example. Without a softbox or a grid, the beam is wide open and spread out, just like your mom last night. Now, if I place a piece of cardboard on the left, it stops the light from spilling in that direction. The same thing happens on the right, and on top and on the side. This is the basic principle behind a grid. The sides of the grid prevent light from spreading all over and instead direct it into a straight and controlled beam. Now, I am neither straight nor controlled, but I do know that this is particularly important when you wanna highlight certain parts of your shot while keeping others in the shadow. See where I'm going with this? Yes, you do, cause you is smart, smart eye. For instance, you might want the light to hit your subject but not the background, especially if the background is, well, shit. There are two disadvantages to using a grid. The first being that you do lose the brightness of the light because you're basically placing a giant screen in front of it. And the second is that light that is more directional also casts hard shadows, which we don't really want. When you place a grid on a softbox, the softbox diffuses and spreads the light, creating softer shadows. The grid gives you precise control over the direction, so you end up getting the best of both worlds. Soft light that is also focused and controlled. Honey, soft light? Sounds like me on day two of food poisoning. <laughs> now at this point, you're probably thinking, Wow, Anthony, you're so handsome, but how do I apply this to help improve the way my shadow Look. Oh. Easy, and I'll show you in five simple steps. Number one, make sure to shoot your video in a dark room, but not the sexy kind. And by that I mean block out the windows and get your mind out of the gutter. Naughty you, naughty. If there's daylight coming in through the windows, then everything is lit up and there's absolutely no way to control the situation. It's better to start from total darkness and build up with what we have. I made a separate video with a step-by-step -step breakdown of how I lit this shot. Go check it out. Our key light, so you see the effect? Number two. Set up your camera so that it's as far away from your subject as possible and then zoom in to compensate. This will give you a good chance to blur the background while focusing the subject. And also, try and get your subject as far away from the background as possible. Never film on your background. Don't do this. There should be a little bit of space. You know, that's one meter, it's like, one and a half meters of space between me and my background. And this will give me a chance to light the subject independently from the background. Independently off the background? I don't know. Number three, set up your softbox with the honeycomb grid and place it to the side, not to the front. And then rotate it until the light is hitting only the subject and not the background. You're gonna be able to go much further than you think you would. At the moment, the softbox with the grid that is lighting me is not even facing me. It's kind of facing away from me, but the light still hits me and it doesn't hit the background. Number four, make your light as bright as possible. I'm gonna explain why in a second. So what we're trying to do is create as much of a difference between the subject and the background as possible. By having your light as bright as possible on the subject, you can then do number five, which is to adjust your exposure until your subject is well exposed and your background is underexposed. So expose for your subject and not for the scene. In this way, 
you have perfect exposure on your subject and the background is gonna be underexposed and hidden. Now, here's a bonus tip. Add some lamps to the background for a pop of color and to make it a little bit more interesting. Now, if you wanna buy a grid for a softbox that you currently own or if you wanna get a whole setup, check out my affiliate links in the description below. I do make a commission if you use that link, so... Thank you. But if you're new to all this and haven't bought anything yet, whether or not you use a grid depends on the vibe that you're going for as a creator. And I covered different lighting vibes in more detail in this video, so go check it out. Thank you very much.